Hi, welcome back. All right, so we've got our score laid out. We've got some sounds loaded in. I think it's about time we started writing some music. Uh, first, I want to show you how to configure a MIDI keyboard. So if you'll come up here to MIDI audio, device setup, MIDI internal speaker setup. Here under the input device column, you can see I've already got mine selected. By default, this will be none. Any compatible uh, and pre-configured USB MIDI devices will actually show up here. Now, if you have one that's plugged in and it's not showing up, it's probably because you don't have the proper drivers installed. So just something to take a look at if you're having that issue. I'm going to go ahead and select mine. Click OK. Now we're going to start with uh, speedy entry, and we'll do a little bit of entry on the marimba. Uh, but the first thing I want to point out that's kind of neat about speedy entry is uh, if you have your MIDI keyboard hooked up and configured, you can actually press the notes on the MIDI keyboard, or the keys rather, on the MIDI keyboard without actually entering any music. So that's pretty handy. You can also do the same even without the, the measure selected. Just choose the instrument you want to hear. So you can see I actually went from having it selected to not selected and could still audition the sounds. So that's pretty handy. Um, but back to working with the computer keyboard, um, go ahead and select uh, the measure you went, where you would like to start entering music and come up to speedy and you want to make sure that use MIDI device for input is not checked if you're preferring to enter music using the computer keyboard. Uh, now you'll move using the arrow keys, choose the, no the pitch you want and then enter uh, the rhythm. So I'll choose an eighth note using a four on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to do a little kind of green exercise scale pattern here. And that was just using the, uh, the numbers to use my rhythm and the arrows to move between pitches. Now, another way to do it would be using the MIDI keyboard. So if you come up to speedy, choose MIDI device for input. The way you'll go about doing this is hold down the note on the MIDI keyboard or the key on the MIDI keyboard. So I'm going to do middle C and then press your rhythm as you're holding it down. So again, you hold down the note. I'm going to press a D. I'm still holding it down and then press four for eighth note. And I could do 16th notes. And then a nice quarter note there on the end. All right, so there you go. That's speedy entry. The other entry method of choice would be a simple entry. So I'm going to hit escape here. I'm actually going to take everything I've written so far and get rid of it. Now I'll come up and choose simple entry. Now simple entry, when you choose the tool, it will automatically put the cursor back in the last place where you were using it. And that's the last place where I was experimenting around with it was this first bar of the marimba part. Now there's four ways you can enter music using the simple entry tool. You can hover over with the mouse and enter them, which I prefer not to use. I just don't think it's nearly as efficient as the other three methods. Uh, the first method would be, uh, or the next method would be to use uh, the actual note names using the letters on the keyboard. So first you need to choose your rhythm. I've already got an eighth note. Just want to kind of show you how to cycle through those. I'm going to start with eighth notes and I'll just press C, D, E, F, G. Uh, so no arrows involved or anything. You just press the notes you want. Uh, and if I wanted to uh, move them around, I could just hold shift to move it an octave or just use the arrow keys to move uh, existing notes. I'm going to hit delete here, move the arrow back over to get back there with the cursor, uh, or the carrot rather. Another method would be to, to use the arrow keys to choose your pitch. Notice you won't be able to hear it as the cursor uh, is selected and the carrot is in there in line with it. Hit enter, and then it moves to the next one. So just use the arrow keys to choose your next note. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Again, I'm just using enter uh, and the arrow keys. Cool. All right. And then the last but not least, uh, our friend, the MIDI keyboard, I could just enter essentially the same pattern using the MIDI keyboard and change rhythms kind of midstream. Uh, so 
So I don't actually want to do that. I'm just showing you that you can change rhythms um, kind of mid-sentence, so to speak, mid-phrase. I'm actually going to go back to eighth notes and going to continue with my exercise. Oops. And a nice big fat quarter note on the end. There we go. All right. So we got a nice little green exercise going on here. That's basic pitched entry uh, using both the speedy and simple entry tools. Next time, we'll deal with an unpitched instrument working with the concert band combo. So we'll see you next time.